The play discusses childhood and how a single event can change a person and transform who they eventually become to be. Did anything happen to you in your childhood that dramatically affected you that you sort of think, yep, that made me who I am today? Justin, would you like to take <laughs> this one first? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, um, I can actually remember the first time I, first time I had certain pangs of, uh, of, of some kind of draw towards a woman. I, I remember that very vividly. Mm -hmm. You know, I was oblivious, I think I was about 11, 10 years old, I mean, aside from the schoolyard crushes, the, the, the first moment I actually saw a vision of beauty and it wasn't just a, a it was this kind of I was in this orchard uh, I think we had gone on a day trip in Prince Edward County or something like that and then uh, there was this woman walking her dog and the sunlight was shining through this orchard and there was this there's this woman with her back to me and then there was this dog and the sunlight was was reaching kind of through this orchard at such a an am amazing uh, sort of slant and that was the first time I think I have experienced a kind of moment of beauty you know that's the, that that really altered what I the way I saw the world mm -hmm. wow. and uh, yeah. yeah I think there are those moments right that uh, stay with you and it could have been as brief as a as, as a moment mm -hmm. or an hour or, and you can remember in such great detail okay. because it changes you um, fundamentally. And I have had experiences like that, which I don't really want to go <laughs> into. <laughs> but I, I, you know, of course, I think everyone will relate to this story because, you know, we've all, we all come from some family. Yeah. And um, that really has a profound effect on us. Lots of things happen in my life, you know. So, but I don't. I never. I can never find one thing that I said so that that's what did it. Actually, a lot. Of, it's more you sort of uh, in your life now. You sort of you you react. You go, oh, I'm reacting just somewhat the same as I always. I'm quite a shy person, and I just know that when I was a kid, I was shy all the time. I went that never left me. I just find different ways to cover it up, so it doesn't seem that I'm as shy as when I was younger. But it's not one particular incident, I don't think. Hmm. Except the time I fell on my head and totally changed my personality. <laughs> There's a line in the play, everything is biographical. Yeah. Uh, everything is collage and there are hidden parts of other people in you. Everyone you've met resides in you. And I think that's true. I think that as well as one experience defining you, that people you grow up with define you, your parents mm -hmm. define you, relationships define you. Yeah. Do you have siblings? When Anna talks about uh, being distinctly Claire and distinctly Anna, it resonates with me as one of four. I sort of felt that I had to carve out my own unique personality and I wonder if that was something that you had to do. Uh, yeah, I think it was probably easiest for me in a way. I was the youngest. Right. So, you know, in, in some ways you're dismissed as the youngest, but in, in other ways you have many advantages because you sort of can look to your older siblings and look at their mistakes yeah. <laughs> and, and, you get spoiled. and not repeat them and mm. you get spoiled um, but definitely the that that relationship that Michael describes in the book between these sisters mm -hmm. is uh, is very moving in many ways because there is that rivalry and that competitive uh, uh, dynamic at least when I think back about my childhood I think I try to like what's the what are the larger moments mm -hmm. you know what are the what are the big moments that shaped me? But in, in the play, what the characters talk about are, are very, they seem like, you know, they're small moments, but like there's the scene where, where once a year their father will take them into the, into the yard, into the field, and take a photograph of mm -hmm. them together. Yeah. And, and that doesn't seem like a very large thing, but reflecting on it as adults in the play, it, it, it really is, it really is a pivotal point in the play, and so, you know, going through, you know, working on this on this production has, has kind of made me think of the smaller moments in, in you know, in the in our youth that, yeah. that might have shaped us. Uh, I think that the play um, also touches on 
how we affect people, you know. Yes, um, absolutely. That it's not just family, it's every, uh, every person that you meet um, makes you who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. It creates that. It, it's a, one, another line is everything's uh, biographical. Right, yeah. I grew up without siblings that were close to me in age. My older siblings were 13, 15, and 18 when I was born, so I didn't grow up with them. And then I have a younger sister who's 14 years younger than me. So I was, I'm like a hybrid <laughs> of an only child and a middle child, bookended by much older and a much younger sibling. Um, so I always grew up having a very distinct sense of my aloneness and w romanticizing siblings and wanting siblings my age. Well, I know that in terms of memories, I have a lot of memories that I remember vividly. Yeah. But when I talk to my brother, my brother says, "No, that happened to me." Um, and we have a, we're, my brother and I are about a year and a half apart, and we just we did everything together. We hung out together, and uh, and I do. I have I have a one particular image of I was a skier and of falling down and, and being humiliated in front of a lot of people. And and uh, Steve said, "No, that happened to me. It didn't happen to." Wow, me. that's crazy. Yeah.